Um, Luis, I know you've been asked a couple times already about, about Dom, but having worked with him last year in the outfield, is he a guy that you think is capable of playing all three outfield positions like he challenged himself to do last year, or is it more a, a corner guy, left field for the most part? Well, yeah, well, I, I, like, I like that he's setting goals out there, you know, to, to get better. I remember Dom in the minor leagues, and, you know, we drafted him. You know, as a first baseman, he, he actually took ground balls in second just to improve his range uh, laterally. And uh, that actually helped him out to improve his range, you know, so he accomplished the goal. So I'm glad that he's thinking of, uh, you know, improving his range and improving his first step reads up the bat in another mm -hmm. position. But right now we see him as a, you know, as, as a left fielder for his uh, versatility, you know, first baseman, left fielder. So, you know, that's the versatility that he can bring to us. That's the experience that he's got already in the game. So. You know, right now with, with that plan. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Oh, no, 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 it was too difficult for you yesterday. <laughs> 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 I, Luis, how do you see Marisnik's role being this year? Do you think it'll be kind of a straight platoon in center field, or um, could he, you know, place in corner, or how, how do you think you're going to get him in the line? Well, we know we know in history he's got also versatility in the outfield. And, you know, his his uh, metrics in center are plus metrics. Um, you know, we're not defining roles on where the guys are going to play. I mean, we're we're excited to have him. He has the experience to play in all in all three. We have other guys that have the experience also playing in the in the three positions on the team. So, uh, you know, Jake Jake is another asset for us. He gives us a lot of versatility and depth in the roster, like like a lot of the guys do. Louis, uh, we asked in Fordo before whether the plan last year was to keep him in right field. Uh, that you know obviously changed. Whatever. But where you have Marisnik and Nemo now is would, is that what you would like, Luke and Fordo? Just put him in one spot. Yeah. Well. Yeah. We, we priority with with Michael is is right field. But one thing that we remind the guys here, uh, you know, is is to keep their versatility high. You know. So we say you know the focus or majority of your games are going to come there. But we want to keep that versatility, so something like that doesn't happen. And he's ready uh, to go. We're in need to, you know, for him to fill in another position. So the guys do a good job with that. Um, you know, they go and take their reads up the bat in a different position just to keep um, that different view of the, you know, pitch and the batter, uh, of, um, and they they stay fresh at that. So you know, Michael did a good job last year doing. Brandon does a good job. He does it in, in all three positions and. McNeil also also uh, uh, does it, and he got the chance to play left field and got into uh, you know um, moved there from from the infield and did a great job in the transition. But he also took some reads in right field and he played a lot of games in right field. So uh, he helps to always tell them you know to stay um, active in different positions in the offense. You talk about left field with, with Dom. Do you have in your mind kind of a, a primary left fielder at this point, or is that up for grabs? No, yeah, like, well, like I said, it's, um, we think of more playing time for guys that are probably going to come in a, in a position. I mean, um, you know, we, we, we think that JD is going to get more playing time in left field. I mean, he's probably going to get more playing, uh, also playing time at third base. I mean, that's his versatility. If you go to the depth chart, same thing with McNeil, you know, third base, left field. And we have guys in the outfield that can do the same thing. So right now we don't, we don't have like set roles or set positions, you know, that the guys are going to be filling in. So similar to the question I, I just answered, I mean, we want to keep everyone's versatility high. It's just, it just makes uh, the team better and the logistics of, you know, managing a national league game. I think it brings a lot to the table for us to move some pieces during the game. What are your thoughts about uh, Key Orman? Louis, Louis also, you know, a lot of versatility in the infield. Um, you know, I had Louis in the minors and uh, I remember he started playing second when, when, uh, when he got here uh, to the Florida State League because Ame was here at the same time he got here. And uh, so, you know, we, we made him split some of the time, short second, and he started learning second. Then he got to double and he started learning, learning third base. And now, you know, he started learning some of, the, some of the different positions and that helped him. So that journey, you know, of developing throughout uh, the system, it helps him, you know, to be a good utility player for us in the infield. So that's how we see Louis right now. He's got a lot of value in those three positions. Luis, do you see guys that are the position players that are already here and your pitchers and catchers, just the feeling of unfinished business in terms of what they accomplished last year and what they're trying to do this year? Well, yeah, I mean, our, our goal is to, you know, to win. We want to accomplish that goal. 
And uh, I think the preparation for that starts here. I think uh, the team, you know, gained a sense of identity as the season was uh, uh, coming almost to an end. And, you know, how we played in the, in the second half, you know, the guys started believing on how good we were and how much talented we are. And they, they did get prepared during the season, which is a tough thing to do. You know, you're playing and you're getting prepared, you're doing extra work, you're doing different things. Uh, and I think now in spring training, when you can, you know, break it down more, stop time a little more and talk about different things that you can do specifically, I think the guys have that goal set. We talk about it every day about, uh, for the group that's here, that our goal is winning. And, uh, you, and you know, this is a big part of that, of that goal, just going through spring training and preparing as a team and preparing as individuals. Thank you. Okay. Thank Thanks. You. Nice. Nice. Nice.